what if I told you I was the breadwinner in my family? My wife is nothing more than a trophy wife, but I'm going to divorce her. Let me tell you why before you call me the jerk. She just smashed my prized possession because I wanted to pay for her to go on an all-girls trip, my golf club, that my friend gave me before he passed away. She smashed it into a million pieces because apparently I play too much golf. Guys, I'm going to tell you some more of that backstory first, but I just need to know from you guys, what do I do about this because I'm losing my mind? Hey guys, not sure if anyone's actually reading this, but if you are, please give me some advice. I'm going through some problems with my wife that I don't know how to solve. I'm tired of arguing and today, uh, this morning, I think I went a little far. So let me give you the context so you can just understand my problem. And... I don't know. Give me some good suggestions on what to do, because I'm quite literally lost. I'm Will, <laughs> fake name, obviously, and I'm going through quite a problem with my wife. I used to be happily married to my wife, Jess, until close to a year ago, as that's when this problem started. But before I tell you that, let me tell you the relationship I had with her, so that you can understand how this affected me. I'm... I'm not going to sit here and hype myself up and tell you that I used to be the best of boyfriends and I'm the greatest husband to my wife. I'm not. But I'm also not going to tell you I don't try my best. I'm a simple man. I don't have many likes. I don't like doing anything that I dislike either. From the time I was a child, I was never the extroverted kid who talked to a lot of people and had a lot of friends. My parents traveled a lot because of their job, so I moved around a lot since I was a child, and never got to become closer to open to anyone. We don't have uh, any other family either, so it's pretty much only us until I got married. I don't really blame my parents for how I was raised. They tried their best, and I'm very happy of how I turned out. When I started understanding how most people uh, acted my age, I was happy that I was different. This allowed me to have deeper friendships and a genuine love for things, and gave me the ability to not tolerate anyone's BS, which was just a great plus. But this also made it very tough to make friends, but I found a way. No matter where we moved, I found people who loved the same thing as me, and made friends. I didn't make friends, but I made lifelong friends, and see, I was never really interested in many things, and the things I liked, I was obsessed with. Don't worry, I'm not just waffling here. All of this is very important to understand my problem. From the time I was a child till I reached age 20, I loved video games and was obsessed with them, but I slowly grew out of it and started looking for new things. See, I still have my collection of uh, play gaming here and there, but it doesn't really make me as happy as it used to. I met Jess when I turned 25, as she was a client, I work remotely inside animation. Immediately fell in love with her and it took me a long time to ask her out on a date. She took it slowly too and I'm not gonna lie. She's my first girlfriend. For real, I mean, <laughs> as I was never interested in dating, I had never found someone who I felt was interested in me. And I found them interesting too. But Jess, oh, Jess was different. And as you already know, I fell for her. But I already knew that the possibility of her being able to tolerate my behavior was slim. But to my surprise, things worked out and she found the qualities I believe made me undesirable. Well, great. I knew I was going to marry her the day I found out and just like me, she did not want children. Everything was perfect. It was like God sent her to me. Now, I want to make something crystal clear. I'm not socially awkward. I just dislike interacting with people, making a fake expressions, and acting like I'm interested in their things. But as a person who talks to customers daily, I can tell you that it's a very hard thing to catch that I'm not interested in talking to anyone. Also, funny story. The day I told my parents about Jess, they were so shocked. At that point, my parents had come to terms with the fact that I was gay or something, and was going to come out to them eventually. I love the fact that even though they were really old school people, they were ready to accept me even if I liked guys, but they were happy to be approved wrong, I bet, so they instantly loved Jess. And after a few years of dating, we got married, and I made good money, and so did she, and so it felt like the best of choices. We got married, and I wished that we lived happily ever after, but I've now realized that life can turn on you any second. 
So now let me come to the thing that is causing this whole mess between me and my wife. For the last seven years, I've stopped liking anything else except golf. Yep. A friend of mine introduced me to it, and I did not even want to try it. Not at first, because I believed it was more of a rich man's sport. But I kind of enjoyed it and really liked playing it. Since then, I started golfing every time I was free and just essentially stopped any other hobby that I had. Golfing became my one and only hobby, and I don't enjoy anything else. Now, I'm sure you've gotten the wrong idea, so let me make it clear. I don't golf much, and definitely not during all my free time. Even before I was married, I made time for golfing when I had nothing else to do, and after getting married, I started golfing even less. I knew I had to make sacrifices to live a happily married life. I did, and I was happy with it, and I did not resentfully do it. I definitely did not do it just for my wife, and I did it for myself too. And Jess appreciated it well, at least until about a year ago. So close to a year ago, I started getting the feeling that Jess was not liking me going golfing. But since she never spoke to me about it, I just ignored it. Now, I'm not the best at understanding how she's feeling without her telling me, so after a while, I decided to just ask. She told me that she had no problem with anything I was doing, so I continued. But every time I would come back, she would not be in the best of moods, and every time I talked about golfing, she just changed the subject. Also, let me make something crystal clear. I mostly never left her home and went golfing or anything. I actually mostly only went when I was free, and she was busy or something, and I had nothing else to do with my time. It has always been just a hobby and nothing more, something I do by sacrificing our personal time never. So what's the problem? Right, a man can't enjoy his hobby. That's what I thought and did not try to talk to my wife about it. But while I was just happy with what I was doing, her hate for it was increasing day by day. During the following months, I kept trying to ignore the signs, but she was indirectly asking me to stop. Every time I would plan to go play on a date, she would make up something for me to do on that day. Most days I agreed with her and did it, and some I went and told her I would do that later. Once again, I went to make it clear. I never made her feel unloved or uncared for. I gave her my best, but I guess it wasn't enough. Then one day, about two months ago, it became clear to me that she just fully hated me going golfing and wanted to stop me but did not know how to do it. When I realized this, I did not confront her because I wanted her to come to me herself and explain what reasoning she had behind it. I picked up golfing before we got married, and she used to love that I did it as a hobby, and she has no personal issues with it, and it doesn't even, well, use up any good amount of time or money. I only spend a little on things I need here and there, and most things I get gifted from my buddies. So it was not really a financial reason. I literally don't do anything else, and she knows it. Plus, I let her do anything she wants. I mean, from going to parties, clubs, and stuff from time to time, and having nights out with the girls every week. I even gave her money for it sometimes, and she does a thousand different things. So I knew there was no way that she was going to ask me to stop, but I was wrong again. Throughout the last month, my wife broke five of my premium golf clubs on different days and acted like all of them were accidents. When the first one happened, I did not even bat an eye because I know that she can be clumsy sometimes. When she did the second one, it was a bit weird. And then a week later, when she did the third one, it started to make me mad. I told her several times that if she had something to say to me, she should just come out and do it instead of doing all this. And she said it was a mistake. I told her that issues don't get solved this way and that nothing talking is only going to make it worse. She then tells me that there was nothing to solve and I decided to let it go. She broke two more premium ones and I screamed at her to be careful and told her that they were expensive. Since she was being closed off and angry, it made me mad. So I just stopped speaking to her really and until this morning when she broke a golf club that was a gift from a dear friend of mine who passed away last year. You see... What made me really mad was um, that she knew it was a gift, or at least I believed that she knew and did it anyways. I lost it at that point and told her, did she have to do this? It couldn't be uh, to prove a stupid point. Seeing me angry made her uh, tell me 
that she wanted me to stop golfing and focus on spending more time with her. She said that I was addicted to this, and golfing was turning me into a different person, and she was going to get it to stop. I'll have to say I was pretty mad and ended up screaming several things at her. I used many bad words too, and I told her that she had gone too far, and she could have done this with a conversation. She told me if she had done that, I would not have listened, and I told her that I'm not going to listen now either. She then demanded that I stop golfing right this moment, and I told her that now I was never going to. I told her that I let her do anything she wanted, and I only do one thing without her, but that's, well, two, she can't tolerate it. I called her a bad wife and warned her that if she broke one more of my clubs, then I was going to cancel her fancy little birthday dinner that's coming up, and that I was supposed to pay for it, remember? Honestly, I feel bad about saying that because that was a gift from me to her. As soon as I said that, she stopped, looked sad, and just left. After that, she's not come home, and I'm feeling pretty bad about all of this stuff. I feel like I'm doing too much for a hobby. I mean, obviously, I love her more than this. But I also feel stupid for not being able to do one thing that I enjoy. So, I want you guys to tell me what should I do. Do I give up my hobby? Or, no? Please, uh, drop a comment down below. Update number one. Hey guys, it's been a few days and I want to start this by thanking you for your suggestions. I did not expect to find so many people willing to help me through either advice or experience. No matter what happens, I want to say that I'm very grateful to anyone who tried to help. But unfortunately, I have to tell you that things have gotten quite worse for me at this point. So, for the past uh, few days, I've not spoken to my wife and I'm only planning to do so after I do something important. Don't worry, I'll explain at the end what I mean. Do you guys remember how I was feeling bad about saying those things to my wife? Well, I don't feel bad anymore, and I fully think that she has lost her mind. I did not want to believe it because I loved her more than anything, but she cannot be uh, the same Jess that I married. My Jess would not have done what she did, and although I will also admit that I went a little too far last time, I don't think I did anything to deserve what she did to me. Well, she has put me in a terrible position, and now I don't know how to get out of it. Also, I should explain that the birthday party I threatened to cancel was technically a gift, but it was something that she had specifically asked me to do months ago. That's the reason I'm doing it, so it can be said that she's making me do it, and not that I'm willingly thinking of spending so much on dinner with family and friends. I guess I should start with my parent, right? So, two days ago, a date after my updates, I was still not speaking to Jess and was thinking of what I should be doing. I was feeling bad about everything, which I think I expressed pretty clearly in my post, but I also did not want to give up. See, a lot of you guys reminded me that nothing I was doing was wrong. I was just standing up for something that I liked, and it gave me the strength to continue not agreeing to her demands. But I also read a few comments that made me feel quite bad. Somebody asked me what was more important to me, and it was definitely Jess, as I would have left golf several times for her. But the way that she did this was the thing that was hurting me. If she had left me like this for about a week, I would have melted and agreed to her demands, and that's how much I love her. But I guess she does not trust our love, and she has ended up doing something very crazy. So, two days ago, I get a call from my mom. And as soon as I picked up, she started screaming at me without even telling me why. When I asked, she told me that she was mad because of how I had treated Jess. And I needed to apologize right now, and I told her I wasn't going to, and also tried to explain that I was not wrong here. But she did not listen to me. Then dad talked and he told me that nothing should be more important to me than my wife and if she wants something I should do it. I'll truthfully tell you guys that it really hurt to not see my parents support me. But I was yet to find out what they had seen when I kept refusing to apologize. Mom cut the call in anger. That evening I went to visit them and dad almost did not let me in. I told him that I was there to explain to them what happened but they refused to even listen. I somehow convinced them and started telling them about how my wife broke my golf clubs. And they got very mad. They told me that I was making up fake stories to frame her in their eyes. And as I was trying to explain more, Mom slapped me and asked me to stop lying. Then they played an audio recording that Jess had sent them of our argument. But you know what the surprising part was? 
It was that her parts had been replaced to make mine look like an overreaction. Instead of breaking my clubs and trying to force me not to go, she was just asking me to not go golfing for a week and spend time with her. This made me look like the biggest a-hole and she told my parents that my obsession with golfing had to stop and they fully believed her. At this point, it was clear to me that trying to explain to them was not really an option, so I just left. But before I did, my parents warned me to let go of golfing and uh, simply um, apologize to Jess or I was going to lose not only her but also them. This is where I am, and if you're wondering why I've not spoken to my wife, well, that's because I'm not going to give her any evidence without collecting my own first. Two can play this game, and I'm going to get some small cameras and audio recorders first. Then I'll talk to her. Update number two. Hey guys, it's been a week since my last update, and my situation has gotten considerably worse. At this point, I don't even recognize who this woman is that I'm living with because she's not the person I chose to marry. She would never hurt me or uh, do things like this, and I don't know if Jess wants me to divorce her or something, but at this point, I'm sure that I cannot spend the rest of my life with her. Let me tell you what happened. As I mentioned towards the end of my last update, I bought some small cameras and audio recorders to prove my innocence. But while I was setting them up, something hit me that made me very sad. I was so into showing my parents the truth, I kind of didn't even think about what Jess did. She was literally trying to blackmail me using my parents, and this is not the kind of thing a person who cares about someone else does. And since then, I've spent every waking hour thinking the same thing. Uh, if it's worth it to even save this marriage. I mean, come on. Uh, you know, uh, while setting up the cameras, I asked myself, what is going to happen if I prove myself right? Would uh, things go back to normal? They wouldn't. We would still be in this hot mess, and after all of this, I'm going to give up golfing, huh? Not really, because that should not be the choice I have to make. At this point, it's become clear to me that I've done nothing wrong, and I should not be the one who gets punished for it. She's the one causing problems in our lives and marriage, and I've not even told you about this. But a little over a year ago, I found her actually texting a guy, and I still have the screenshots from it. She was getting a little too close with them, and from what I saw in the text, they even went on dinners with friends. But kinda like dates, and before anything happened, she stopped it. Believe me, it really hurt seeing her get attracted to someone else. Someone normal, but since nothing happened, or I believe nothing happened, I never told her anything. For the sake of our marriage, I decided to forget it and forgive her. But now I think I made a mistake because if I had confronted her, I would have found out what well, changed in her. This is the same change that's affected her now. So after I did the cameras and audio recorders, I confronted her about why she lied to my parents. She directly told me that it's because she thought it was the best to convince me to give up golfing and also because of the fact that I had made her so mad when I threatened to cancel the birthday. I told her all of this, well, and she was stupid to think that I was still going to pay. And she told me that she was going to make me just like she was going to make me quit golfing. I asked her to come clean to my parents and told her that if she didn't, she was not going to get a birthday at all. And oh boy, the set her over the edge. Then, uh, instead of doing the absolute right thing, she threatened me that if I did not do everything she wanted, she was going to make sure that my parents cut me off. This just broke my heart, so I asked her how she could be so cruel to me. I asked her if she had stopped loving me or something, but she flipped this on me. She said I stopped loving her and was only thinking about myself, and she also told me she didn't care about our marriage at this point. Well, this made me so mad that I kind of lost control and ended up telling her a lot of things. She then used this to get my parents even more mad at me. And now they're demanding that I publicly apologize to her during the birthday dinner, which is in two weeks. No, I did not show them any proof because now I think I'm going to save it for her birthday. There, I'll show everyone who she really is. The more I think about this, the more I feel that living with her is not an option anymore. There's not much of Jess I love left inside of her. Update number three. Hey guys, it's been over a month since the last update and let me just tell you what happened without wasting any time. 
So after my last update, I continued to have arguments with Jess to, to see how far she was going to go as I was recording everything. I'd already decided that I was going to show everyone what a horrible human being she is. And during the week, I decided I was also going to leave her right there. I think I don't have to explain why, but if anyone's still wondering, it's because she's not the person I married and I didn't want to live with her anymore. One day, after the very uh, heated argument, when I told her that no matter what happened, I was not going to pay or leave golf, she burned my most prized possession. Luckily, it was all caught on camera, you know. I definitely was not expecting her to do this and was genuinely hurt, and she burned the best and most special golf club I had. And I'm not even going to explain why it mattered to me, it just did. Just like the gift from my friend. She burned parts of the club and served it to me on a platter and laughed when she saw that I was hurt by it. This was more than enough and, well, to clear any doubts I had in my head, so after this I promised to do what she wanted. Obviously, she also wanted me to publicly apologize to her in front of everyone, and she eagerly waited for her birthday to come. But she wasn't the only one, as I was eagerly waiting to as I wanted to show her that I had collected something very important and I was going to do something. The day of the party came and as I promised, I paid for everything. I was happy to pay for it because I was going to enjoy it more than she did. Every bit of it. She had invited her close friends over, uh, parents, my parents, a few of our relatives, and it was expensive, but I found it to be worth every penny. I'd already made all the arrangements, so as soon as it came time for me to make my toast, a screen was rolled in. Jess looked suspicious, but she maintained her expression and looked happy and excited. Then the excitement turned to horror, as I showed everyone what she did to me and what she had been telling my parents, and nobody could believe it. After I finish sharing my story, I tell Jess that I'm done with her. She gets mad and starts to scream. I mean, she thinks she's in control. Her mother slapped her and told her that she was not the child she raised. It turns out they actually care about their public reputation <laughs> and told her that they're cutting her off, too. Anyways, guys, she tried to make excuses, but I just uh, asked her to stop and told her that I'm done. I've just uh, now started the process of divorce, so it's going to take some time. And I wish I could tell you guys that I'm living a happy life, but I'm not. It really hurts, but I know that I'm better off without her. She's never going to get back to me ever. And even though I feel really bad, I'm never, ever letting her come back. But I need you guys to tell me. Would you have done the same thing?